Sometimes you just need something to carry your cargo, or even your party. So let's go ahead and make some carts. We're going to start with making our one inch squares, and I'm going to do multiple sizes. And we will start with the one inch and just do a little hand cart. It's just going to be an open cart, so I'm going to use three walls and each wall I'm going to angle slightly. Oh, about six degrees is good. Once I get it lined up, I'm going to make sure that the bottom is completely flat with my angles and then I'm going to cut off the excess that's overhanging from my angles on the walls. Then I'm just going to make some simple handles and then make some wheels. And to help visualize the scale, I'm going to import a little barred person. I get the wheels about the size that I want and then I go ahead and make an axle and make sure that it sticks out far enough that the wheels won't hit the walls that are angled. I like simple, but let's try and be a little bit more complicated and make little wood slats so that it looks like there's more of a wood grain or texture when we actually go to print it later. So I'm going to backtrack a little bit and just make this wood slat pattern and then redo the walls. I make a wall sized cookie cutter so that I just have the design just the size of the walls and then have it stick up just a little bit beyond the wall. I get it all put back together, fix a crack or two, and then work on fixing my wheels.
I make an axle sized notch in the middle to hopefully make it easier to glue together. Cut a little hole out of it and then make some little half round spokes. I then play around with making the handles not look quite so square and then just end up using little half rounds to kind of put a little bevel on the top. And that looks pretty good, so I'm going to export it and then slice it and see how it works for printing. And I can look through the layers and see that there's actually going to be some holes in between like the wheels and the handles and the tops of the sides of the cart. So I decided to go back in and make them a little thicker so that when it prints, it will print the line solid rather than having little spaces in between. And I export it and try to slice it again. The wheels look great, the handles look okay. The sides of the cart in the walls have a little space, but it should be okay. You have all these cats, what are you gonna do? Carry them in your little hand cart that we printed. And it looks pretty good. I didn't put any texture on the inside, but where the walls are so thin, you can see the texture through the inside of it. And it matches up well with the miniatures and just for fun, we'll just put some cats in there and move them on out. So now let's use those same techniques to make a slightly bigger cart for just an open horse cart. This one will make 5 foot by 10 foot, and I go ahead and make my wood slats thicker so that they stick out on both sides. This should make a nice texture as well as making the walls a little thicker so that there aren't any spaces when we go to print. And where this one is bigger, I'm going to add some bigger supporting boards on the outside to hold everything together, as well as put a little front guard on there. So you can either lead the horse with your hay or whatever cargo you have, or you could stand just inside of it and control the horse with some reins. And similar to the hand cart, I will add a horse so that I can use it for scale and make my handles larger so that they will fit over whatever rigging the horse will use. I decided to make a little makeshift harness to kind of sit over the horse or whatever is carrying the cart. And when I do this, I put a little separation in the top to try and be able to print it without supports and have it still work. But later, I just ended up having to use the straight half round. And I actually had to make it a little bit wider so that it wasn't as fragile. And export and print. And there it is. It looks great, even the detailing on the inside. It's a little back heavy, of course, so when you put it over the top of a horse, it doesn't exactly stay like that unless you have some forward heavy weight. But for representation purposes, it works well. And it carries our band of cats. Or your party, because they're basically like cats that run around and do whatever they want anyway, right? 
Maybe you don't have a horse, so you have to get creative in what you use to carry your cart, like a little dragon cat. And from there, just start making any other carts that you want. I hope that this video has been helpful to you, and thank you so much to all my patrons who have contributed and helped me make these videos. These models will be available to patrons, so if you would like to become a patron, please do so. Your support is greatly appreciated. Printed versions of these carts will also be available at my web store at 3dmtabletop.com, where you can also buy dice and miniatures, and any other things that you need for your DMing or game playing pleasure. I plan to make more and bigger carts, but until then, thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe for future videos that will be coming up. Now everybody load up, it's time to roll out!